Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Anish and today we'll solve the continuation of the previous question that I gave you as homework, right? So in the previous lecture, I solved exactly the same question but with only a small change that this U of T was not there. If this U of T was not there, simply this was always constant 0.5 milliamperes. But as this U of T is present, right? What does U of T means? This means the signal will be equals to 1 at T greater than equals to 0 and it will be equals to 0 before t less than equals to zero okay so before t less than equals to zero nothing is present right this is not present and this input source is also zero as mentioned here so now what will happen so i gave you as homework and few of you commented so verify whether you are correct or not and tell me whether you love this question or not okay uh, so please comment and like the video as uh, like number of views are actually lower currently uh, sometimes uh, and this type of questions should actually reach more number of people because this is a good question right this is not a like a cake word type type of question right this is a good question so first of all there will be two cases why there will be two cases i will explain in a bit but let's solve for case one okay i will write here case one what is case one case one is simply when c is less than 0 0.5 microfarad okay why 0 0.5 microfarad is the uh, like edge case that i will come come to later on but let's uh, choose any value let's choose okay let's take an example okay uh, i will choose anything just c equals to 0 0.1 microfarad now if i choose c equals to 0 0.1 microfarad what will happen i will draw the circuit initially this input is also in increasing right so uh, as this input is increasing so initially what will happen this right this has no charge okay initial capacitor has no charge nothing is mentioned so no charge okay this current source is also zero at t equal to zero this is zero volts and this is also zero so no change in the state of diode but just at t equal to zero plus what will happen this node will also try to increase due to this current source but this voltage will also try to increase right but who will win who will win actually okay how will i know who will win i will know that by the slope Wh whose rate of change will be more faster okay due to this current source or due to this input voltage source so i will try to uh, like uh, analyze the two cases separately so what i will do i will assume that this node voltage view right is equals to vin so if my view assume okay not this assume view equals to vi so my voltage will actually look something like this just hold on It will be a straight line because it is following the input right input is also straight line fine and what is the slope of this what is the slope of this if you observe here the slope right it is dy upon dx so change in y is one change in x is one milliseconds so it will be uh, around 10,000 okay 10,000 right 10,000 okay 10 raised to power 3 of volt per second this is a slope basically this is time and this is v this is a case 1 okay I can say case 1a now case 2 uh, case uh, 1b will be what case 1b will be basically this if I assume that diode is off right i assume diode is off i have assumed here diode is actually on as the diode is on i just hold on as the diode is on what is happening vo is directly close to vi so if the diode is off then what will happen like i will not explain this a current current source is connected directly across a capacitor what will happen the voltage across the capacitor will linearly increase the voltage will only linearly increase so if the voltage linearly increase vo node will only go up and up okay so if vo node goes up and up how will it look so we'll copy and paste this will also be a straight line okay this will also be a straight line only just hold on okay but the slope this time will be different what will be the slope simply i can use this formula right we know a basic formula what is the basic formula c dbc by dt just let me turn this off c dbc by dt is equals to ic right 
it is the basic formula and ic is constant ic is how much ic is 0.5 milliamperes it is 0.5 milliamperes okay and uh, this is c and i need to find out this rate of change right exactly that is what i need to find out so basically my dvc by dt or dvc is the vo itself right now so d vo by dt is constant that is c and it will be like if i integrate this this will be a linear function of time simple a ram function right so that that we know so how much is c how much have we chosen c actually so for now c is less than 0.5 uh, microfarad or for now i have chosen c as 0.1 microfarad if i have chosen c as 0.1 microfarad what will happen this will be 5 into 10 to the power 3 right this will be 5 into 10 to the power 3 so what will happen here is this let me just color this something different this will be actually 5 into 10 raised to power 3. So this slope is higher, right? This slope is higher. Now, one thing for sure, what is that? That this VI end, right? This VI end is actually connected in the P side of the diode. And this capacitor end, right, is connected in the N side. Now, whichever moves first will actually decide the behavior of diode. So here I'm observing that the N side is actually moving higher, okay, faster. So obviously, if N side is higher, if n side is higher than the p side diode will never turn on so if diode never turns on the diode actually never turns on what happens is at this point right again what happens the voltage reduces a anyways the voltage at the n side was anyways uh higher okay and the p side voltage further reduce so obviously the difference right will further increase that the n side will be further higher so obviously the diode will always be off in the case one Okay, in the case one, when my C is zero, uh, less than 0 0.5, 0 0.5, right? If it C is less than 0 0.5, 0.5 microfarad, what will happen? This slope will always be more than the slope of the P side. That's why this case will follow, okay? The waveform will always be a straight line, okay? The waveform, if I can, this I cannot hold, okay, fine. The waveform will always be a straight line, okay? If, if I can, yeah, forever. forever it will always be a straight line no matter what this is the first thing okay for case one now let's go for the case two if i go for the case two if i go for the case two what will happen here is that when my c is greater than 0.5 microfarad okay now interesting things happen now what happens is as my c is greater than 0.5 microfarad right so uh, this slope will actually be slower than this slope this slope will actually be slower than this slope so here what will happen during the first half cycle during the first half cycle of this uh, particular triangle waveform right first half cycle means up until from 0 to 1 milliseconds actually this diode will be on okay now here right this diode is forever forever diode forever off but here what will happen is that as the slope of the n side is lower than the slope of the p side so obviously diode will be on from 0 to 1 milliseconds okay and what what will what will be the slope tell me in the comments below what will be the slope from 0 to 1 milliseconds of the output voltage whatever we are doing this is for the output voltage right basically for the output voltage okay so this will be a straight line just tell me in the comments below what will be the slope now this will actually follow the input voltage now at one milliseconds something interesting will happen at one millisecond actually the diode voltage uh, sorry the uh, like p side voltage of the diode will reduce okay p side voltage of the diode will reduce so what will happen is that the voltage across the output right will be a superposition of both this and this okay but this voltage is fixed okay and the extra current whatever that was flowing right extra current whatever that was flowing now you might say sir where is that constant current going to that constant current is actually going to the source this time so i will show you with circuit you will understand this the constant current currently right here <coughs> i have the capacitor and i have the current source right and this is the vi vi I can write as a potential as well okay whatever you want to show you can show okay 
vi okay so what is happening is that as the voltage across it is fixed right voltage across it is fixed like this input is deciding so the whatever the current right extra current will flow through this like not total current not totally 0.5 few bit of current will flow here as well but bit of current will flow through here as well okay bit of current will flow through here as well so now this current source has a path now the current of the capacitor doesn't need to be constant the current doesn't necessarily need to be constant but what will be the current actually through the capacitor can you tell me what will be the current through the capacitor now i know the voltage right i know the voltage through the capacitor and if i find the slope of this voltage i will be able to find the current what is the slope slope as i to, uh, ask you to tell me in the comments is same as the previous case if the input is on right that is 10 raised to power 3 so it is 10 raised to power 3 this slope is 10 raised to power 3 Okay, now as this is 10 raised to power 3, what can I say? I can say the current, if it is a linear function, right, current will be what? IC by, just hold on. Current will be IC by C equals to DVC by DT, right? This is the slope basically. So I know DVC by DT, DVC by DT is uh, 1000. So C, I don't know. Okay. Uh, IC will be what? C. Any value you take. Okay. Let's take one microfarad for now. One microfarad. If I take one microfarad, then this will be what? This will be 10 raised to power minus 3. That is 1 milliampere. Okay. So 1 milliampere of current will flow actually through this capacitor. So this current source will provide 0.5 milliampere and extra 0.5 milliampere who will provide this. Now this all, all of this depends on the value of the capacitor. Now the extra 0.5 milliampere this, right? This voltage source will provide. This will provide 0.5 milliampere. This current source will provide 0.5 milliampere, and extra 0.5 milliampere will be provided by the voltage source. Now, next, what will happen? Next, as soon as I reach this point, right now, the voltage keeps on reducing. Now, as the voltage keeps on reducing, what will the capacitor try to do? Capacitor doesn't want to change its voltage. It will try to hold this voltage. Right? It will try to hold this voltage. So, after this, what will happen is that. It, as it tries to hold this voltage, just at the split second, at t equals to one millisecond plus. Let's say 1.0001 millisecond. This capacitor tries to hold its voltage, right? It will try to hold its voltage. And this voltage has reduced slightly. So diode will say, man, my N side voltage is higher. My P side voltage is lower because this side is still fixed for a split second. Diode will be off. As soon as the diode turns off, the current source will again, what will it do? It will again keep on charging the capacitor, right? From whatever it was. It was at one volts. The voltage will increase from there. Voltage will increase from 1 volts to linearly fashion. Okay. Uh, how will it increase? Again, through this equation, right? Again, what will happen after this 1 millisecond, right? The slope will change actually. Slope will be not as fast as this because obviously that was our assumption that our input slope is higher than the uh, slope produced by the current source, right? This is the case too. So it will be lower, but still it will keep on charging the capacitor. Okay. It will be lower, but still it will keep on charging the capacitor. What will be the slope? Slope will be 0 0.5 milliampere by C, obviously. Okay. So this will be the slope. After this, will anything change? No, anything will not change, right? Nothing will not change because capacitor voltage will never go back to one volts again because there is a current source which will always keep on increasing the, its voltage and this input voltage, right? Never goes beyond one volts. This input voltage never goes beyond one volts. So the voltage waveform will be like this so here what will happen this region will be the region for which the diode is on and after this just after one millisecond diode of forever okay so basically right uh, what i want you to take uh, i want you to take back from the question is mainly the intuition part okay the intuition part is that how I handled this portion, right? This portion is the most critical portion. If you couldn't understand, please go back and rewind. This portion is the most critical. This portion, you will be able to solve. This portion, you will be able to solve. But this portion, right, at t equals to one millisecond, what is happening? The intuition, that is the most important part. And that is a part that the interviewer also wants to see, whether you are able to intuitively analyze the circuit. Did I use any Laplace? Did I use any mathematical, like huge mathematical uh, uh, equations? No, right? I didn't. So that was the important portion. Another important announcement is that we have launched our comprehensive course 
from campus to core vlsi profile so if you want to prepare for analog vlsi or digital vlsi role right you can come and prepare with us we have launched this course which covers both analog and digital vlsi profile so this will be suitable for any btec uh, fresher undergrad final year third year or if he is in mtech this will be suitable for him as well or if you want to purchase individual courses for analog vlsi you can purchase that as well and for digital placement those are there all you have to do is visit our website prefusion.in now obviously uh, we have gate courses as well gate currently gate 2025 full course is there to to iit isc uh, then other full test series is there okay for uh, placements as well that is there the gate full courses are also there everything is uh, there if you just visit our website prefusion.in you will find out everything so that's it from my side for this uh, lecture for this particular question and i hope to see you with a, another great question thank you for watching and happy learning